Guys, Crafty here, and we are bringing you more Dark Souls today. Uh, I'm going to show you a few uh, changes that I've made. Uh, if you'll notice, my shirt, or sorry, my uh, chest piece, is now the Elite Knight armor again. I am hard pressed to find a better armor for its weight, so I leveled it up to nine. I also purchased Ornstein's gauntlets and leggings from Dom Hill. I'll show you where he is later. I'm keeping the crown of dusk, and I am ready to go. You will also notice that my souls and my humanity are zero. Uh, I'm not too concerned. It's right over there. Um, so let's get started. I didn't decide to include my first foray into there because it was kind of embarrassing <laughs> uh, what happened. Uh, but it's going to be a real bitch to get those, so uh, let's just um, not talk about it right now. Uh, man, it's in the middle, too. Okay. First thing you want to do, hopefully, um, I don't die again, because this is my last transient curse. Uh, this is the only way you're going to be able to harm these undead. And there's still a one-hit kill, even without my humanity. You'll notice 256 is, uh, what I'm swinging for, uh, with zero humanity. But be very careful in this area, because there are places that drop off. So you just want to kind of like inch your way along a little bit, inch by inch. Uh, let's see if I can pick up my souls without dying. Let's just get over here. That's a firekeeper soul, and um, yeah, the first the first time I did that, I just stopped when I should have never done that. Uh, you notice that was a 321 strike, so uh, you can tell the difference that the humanity makes in this weapon. Now, now we're back in action. God, so embarrassing. Uh, you want to be very careful with that camera angle right there. Um, when you walk past that, the camera angle shifts. Um, dick move. Uh, dick move. Uh, from software, dick move. But that does happen, and that's legit, so you really want to be careful when you do that. So, uh, we need to find transient curses. Uh, otherwise, we're kind of up shit's creek without a paddle here, because uh, I don't have ways of damaging this undead. Or these undead. Ghosts. I mean, everything's technically... Anyway. The ghosts do drop um, transient curses, so let's actually boost that a little bit put on the gold ring so we have a higher item find and hopefully um, our shit stays on uh, because they do drop transient curses uh, just not right now drop it this is very dangerous by the way you do not want to charge into this area normally I just I know this area kind of like the back of my hand hey Okay, we're good. We are good. We are good as gold, right as rain. We are perfect. Now, an easy... Th oh. yeah, these bitches will go through walls, so it's really hard to... Really hard to see what's going on. <clears throat> A good rule of thumb is to keep this item up. So long as you have the curse active, you will not be able to use it. Uh, when the curse is lifted, per se... Uh, when it's worn off, it will become an active item again. Uh, which is a really good way to let you know that you're about to get your shit kicked in. So you better use it. Because you're going to get uh, destroyed. Now watch on your left. The wall hacker right here. <laughs> wall hacker. Pick up a parrying dagger. Come over here. Watch out for wall hackers. Because they do and will happen here. Because they're dickheads. You're not going to be able to go over there right now. Um, well, you'll be able to go here. Shut up. More transient curses. Which is kind of good. That was a banshee, by the way. I don't actually know the technical name of that. Um, keep that in mind right there. That'll be discovered later. 
Uh, I don't really know what it's called, but it's it screams and it's loud and it's annoying and I caught a banshee. Kick this down for a shortcut. Don't really need this, but I just want to show you how dick that is. <laughs> Oh boy, I just almost ran off the cliff. Okay. Oh, I hate this area. <clears throat> I don't hate it as much as Blight Town, but by God, I hate this area. Now, you want to be careful over here because those little wall hacks right down there, they'll come and get you eventually. But you want to be careful here, too. Because as soon as you hit this area, all the little floaty floaties come at you. So, if you can hit these bastards with one kill, with one hit, uh, that would be ideal. Eh. Okay. Ow. Okay. 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 I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Ow. I'm here. I'm here. Okay. Ow, I'm here. Uh, Transient Curse should be wearing off relatively soon. Ooh. Uh, so I do have a concern. Transient Curse. Uh, my weapon damage did lower by a point. Uh, I do believe that's because of durability. See? Here we go. If I would have charged... If, <laughs> yeah. If I would have charged into the next room and not realized that my Transient Curse I'd worn off, I would be dead. Don't give her a chance to scream. This is why. Ow! No! Ah! You slashed my throat. Now I break your face. Should you have a face? Probably once did have a face. But not anymore. I made sure of that. Ow! Shit balls. I might have died there had I had lesser armor. <laughs> Double kill. Alright. Any more surprises? You wanna fuck with me? Huh? No? Alright. Sounds good. Okay. There's the man I'm looking for. Well, this is a surprise. You have Yes, I have the Lord I Vessel. Know exactly. You seek the four kings whom I guard over. Yes, sir, I do. And that's the key you need. You can only talk to this guy after... Well, you can talk to the guy before you have the Lord Vessel, but he only gives you the key after you get the Lord Vessel. Use this key to... Oh, the dark wraith at the abyss below. Long ago, the knight Artorius traversed the abyss. This is important. Find him and learn from him. The abyss may prove surmountable. Okay, basically he's giving you a hint as to how to traverse the abyss. Now the problem is, when you get to the abyss, you don't know that you're at the abyss. There's a little point later on in the game, um, if you've watched my other series, uh, you'll know about this, but it, it doesn't matter. Uh, you will come to a point where you cannot progress any further. Uh, there is a pit that leads down, that leads you to believe, okay, there's nothing else there. That was a lot of damage, probably because I charged. Um, it leads you to believe that there's nothing there. And it's just a pit. I don't really need the gear over here, but I just want to show it to you guys. Just in case you guys want it. I don't need it, but you guys may want it. There should be little wall hackers here somewhere. Curse bite ring. I think there's two. Yep. See it. Gotcha. Tutor to pop. I mean, that's not bad. There should be that other one that followed me. Oh, no, let's go this way. Careful. Uh, can't go that way. Go this way. Uh, I'm at nine minutes. Okay. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. You know, I just realized I could have walked right off that. Uh, no, it's, it's close enough together. It's fine. There are a few extra items uh, up top, which I did not bother to get. I'm pretty sure that they're just souls. Let me check. 
Um, pretty sure they're just souls. Um, you can get that too by rolling onto it, but uh, maybe I can get it. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, human. Okay, that was um, actually very important to me. Yeah, let's get it. Uh, you just want to make sure that you don't rush things like that, because that was actually pretty dumb, and I actually hate myself for doing that. Because I've died enough. R oh, okay. Rare Ring of Sacrifice. That was uh, entirely worth it as well, so... Uh, yes, it is actually worth it. Uh, to get through, back down, you probably have to go back down there. Let me see if I can just drop down here. Uh, yes. Eh. Okay. Might want to heal. Boop. Done. Don't think that there's any more ghosts, so you should be okay. So you're going to come down this way. Go down. This contraption does not move. Go over here. Key to the seal. The master key does not open this, by the way. And push. Notice how it's flooded. goes the water level and the way to New Londo is revealed so now that that's done hit this boop uh, there's like a I think there's a bow up there I got time Jeez, what? I, I mean I do have time to do some of this stuff Guess I'm gonna get raped in the butt. Yes, composite bow. I do believe it is actually better than the normal bow. But back to the way we came. This is now available. So let's hit it. It's actually not that far down, but just it was flooded before, so you really could not do anything. And here we are. That's the entrance from the Valley of the Drakes. And all these bodies are the poor unfortunate souls that were left here when this area was flooded. Now there's going to be a new enemy in this area. The Dark Wraith. There he is. He fell down. Be very cautious against these things. These things can actually steal your humanity. It also helps to be a little overpowered. <laughs> but uh, these assholes right here, uh, they can drop Titanite slabs. They drop Titanite chunks normally. But uh, there is an incredibly, incredibly, incredibly rare chance that they actually drop Titanite chunks. I know, or Titanite slabs. Very rare chance for slabs. I know this for a fact because I've done this before with my other character when I farmed this entire area for eight hours straight, I believe. Uh, I believe it was eight hours straight, and I dropped one slab. So, uh, that was, of course, max item find and all that bullshit. So, yeah, it does happen, but um, not very often. Uh, you no longer need the transient curses for now. There is an area where there are ghosts, but not until later, but I will show you that next time. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like if you like what you see. It's the easiest way to let me know that you are enjoying my videos plus commenting. So I will see you guys in the next episode. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.